Well, an Omaha couple says they have survived domestic abuse, both as victims and offenders. Victims saying they've rebuilt their relationship despite an extremely violent past. Well, now they share their story in hopes of saving other troubled couples. KTV News Watch 7's Devontae McKenna has tonight's exclusive. I love him more than, you know, and it's not for reasons anymore that I feel like. I have to love him. On the surface, they seem like any other happy couple, but their smiles hide the struggles of domestic abuse. Oh, I, I struck her. I physically hit her. She sustained a black eye and some bruises. 40 year old Michael Bentley arrested Christmas Day 2014 after his not so merry relationship hit rock bottom. I never thought we would be here. I didn't. I would jump out of moving cars. You know, we would beat each other up so bad. The violence started just two years into their nine year relationship. Violence driven by drugs. 99.9% .9 of that was the, uh, the addiction I was involved. I was in, I was a heavy meth user, and that distorts your thinking. Brutality often taking place in front of their own two children, a four and seven year old who heard their mother's cries for help. My daughter, you know, after I struck her mom, she was like, what did you do that for? And that, that is a major, you know, photographic picture in my mind. Michael says his little girls even tried to help rescue their mother from his own rage. They've learned a lot. They, you know, I, I, I sometimes, you know, more than not regret a lot of uh, actions I've exposed them to. Using tactics like power and control and taking advantage of Jessica's mental instability, Michael owns up to every hit and blow. Well, everyone makes mistakes. I mean, there's not one perfect human being. I mean, he who is without sin cast the first stone. In Michael's case, it's just only one out of 1,800 domestic violence cases seen in Douglas County last year. Three out of four of those cases resulted in prison or jail time. The rest, probation or fine. For some domestic violence offenders, hope is still there. Oh, there's a lot of hope, but like I said, you have to apply it to your life. Those who work at Omaha's Domestic Violence Council agree. However, they say it's a slow and systematic process. But it is a choice, and it has to be a choice for them to make the decision to change as well. And that's what both Jessica and Michael did hand in hand. They took the time to enroll in treatment programs. They made the pledge to make each other feel like someone rather than something. They even promised their children a better Christmas for 2015. I'm so excited. All of this while knowing Michael was not the only bad guy in this relationship. It was the both of us, you know, and they, they say a lot that, that the abused becomes the abuser. And that was happening for me. I was becoming the same way. Taking ownership of fault, regretting the worst, and forgiving with new trust. A relationship can, can end up a success story. I'm living proof of it. In Omaha, Devontae McKenneth, KETV, Newswatch 7. Now, if you or someone else is fighting the battle of domestic violence, help is there. We have posted a list of resources on our website at KETV.com. Just look for Devontae's story there.